Hey, welcome back to PhotoWalk Pro Tutorials. My name is Jeff, and today I'm going to show you a really cool thing if you don't know how to use it already, and that's called the Blend If Slider. And the Blend If Slider is a really great way of um, smoothing out transitions when you're compositing images and you want to blend uh, components from one image into, say, a background image. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit of how this works. I've got an image right here taken from a baseball game I went to a couple of weeks ago and it's a night game and they do a cool thing after uh, the Saturday games and that is they shoot off fireworks. So you can see here I've got a couple of uh, very cool fireworks shots here that uh, took place after the game. But what I want to do is I want to take those fireworks blasts and the, the little explosions and I want to put them into this frame right here. Um, don't ask me why, I just thought it would look cool. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab that first one right here and I'm just going to use my lasso tool and I'm just going to draw a quick selection around this thing. It's pretty sloppy. It doesn't really matter for what I'm doing. And I'm just going to copy that with Command C. And then I'm going to go back to my image here. And I'm going to paste that in with a Command V. Now, I'm going to go ahead and move that. And I just get the Move tool, hit V, and get the Move tool, and put that over here in the sky. And then, you know what, I think, actually, I want that to be a little larger. So I'm just going to hit Command T. And I'm going to hold the Shift button just to maintain the aspect ratio. If, if uh, if I didn't, then it would uh, kind of do bad things to it. It would stretch it oblong and all kinds of stuff. And actually, maybe I want it oblong stretched a little bit. So see, I can just stretch it oblong. But if I hold down the, the shift button while I'm dragging a corner, it maintains the aspect ratio. So I want to place that right about there. There you go. And you can see now that um, even though they were both dark skies, the one with the actual firework in it is a almost completely black sky, whereas, you know, there's uh, you've got... Uh, light pollution from the the large field lights here brightening up this part of the sky and so you really can say hey that's you know a really really bad composite job so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go down here to the layer styles and uh, let me just show you down here this is your your layer styles down here this little FX um, I guess that's you know because you're using an effect and I'm gonna click on that and then go to the blending options menu and that brings up this little dialog box right here. Now, I don't care about any of the other stuff on here except this very bottom part under the blending options. And that's this top slider here. And this is the blend if. Now it says blend if in gray. I'm going to leave that intact. And the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my alt key. And then on this left slider right here, watch this. When I click on this, it's going to actually separate that. Um, let me put that back and I'll show you again. Let me just zoom in so you can see what I'm doing here when I actually hold the alt button and click on this it separates those two little sliders out so now you can see it's separated alright let's zoom back out and I'll show you why you want to use that when you separate that out now if I drag the one that ended up on the right side and I drag that to the right look what happens to the background over here let me zoom in a little bit over here so you can see is that the background of the uh, the black from the fireworks image that I pasted in is now sort of like just disappearing and there you go so that's you know the beauty of that I can just drag that now if I drag too far it really starts to kind of get rid of the firework a little too much and I don't want that even though you know it does get rid of the black element of it it's a little too much and besides it goes black up top so I'm just gonna drag it about right here and say okay now there is a little bit down here on the lights you can see where it crosses over a little bit but that's okay because I'm just gonna come down here, let me grab this up here and move it just a little bit. And maybe I don't need it quite so far down there. How about I drag this up? Okay, I'm going to put a layer mask on here on this top layer here. So I'm just going to click on the layer mask button. I've got a little white mask there. I'm going to get my brush and I make sure that I'm painting with black right here. And I'm just going to, right around the edge here, I'm just going to paint this out so it just completely gets rid of that part right there. There you go. So now you can't see any of that sky that was remaining. And you can do this multiple times. So, like, I've got another one right here. Let me go ahead and get my lasso tool. I'm just going to hit L to get the lasso tool. And I'm just going to draw a quick selection around this one. And there we go. That's good enough for my purpose. I'm going to copy it. Let's go back here and paste that in. So, Command V. I'm going to do the same thing. And this time, instead of using the Move tool, I'm just going to hold down the Command key, which gives me a temporary access to the Move tool. I'm going to move that up here. And let's take this one up off screen just a little bit there, just like that. And then let's make this one just a little larger as well. 
Okay. Now, they're going to overlap a little bit. I'm going to hit enter to return that. So you can see that they overlap. So if I take this down in opacity, you see there's a little bit of overlap, but that's okay because it's the bright parts that are overlapping, and that's all right because I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to click on the uh, little layer style right here, go to blending options, and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just move this out of the way a little bit. I'm going to alt click on this little pointer right there, and then I'm going to drag the right side of that towards the middle, and there it goes. Now they disappear. So I can get really crazy with this and add two or three. And you can see that the, the overlap that was caused is not that big a deal. Uh, it just looks like one was in front of the other one. So it's not that bad. If I wanted to, actually, I could go back to that and say, well, it's got a little black around the edge here. Let me just go back to that and see if I can't tame those just a little bit. Just drag it a little bit further like this. And there you go. Okay. So that's it. That's the blend of slider. Now, obviously, I used it for this shot, but you can see that it would have applications for a lot of composite work where you want a much smoother blending of a, uh, a layer or two where you're going to have things that need to fade into the image below. So there you go. That's it for today. Uh, I'm Jeff from PhotoWalk Pro, and you have a great day.